another week of, of really good hard workouts. We finally kind of moved into a different phase of our training. Um, so it's kind of getting used to more race rhythm type of, of running during our workouts in the past. We, or up to this point, we haven't done a lot of that, if not any of it, um, in our workouts. And so now we're, now we're slowly moving into that phase to get ready to really be able to understand what it feels like to run a certain phase for a certain length of time over a certain distance. Um, and then also we're using this week as well as a little bit, it is, kind of sounds weird, we're, we're still working out hard and we're making transition, but we're also taking a little bit of opportunity for a week where we're not racing to, to take a little bit of down uh, mileage a little bit as well. Uh, we've, been, we've been working hard all the way up to this point, so we'll give, this, give them an opportunity here this week to, to take a little bit of time off some of their runs and, and to kind of really get their legs back underneath them and feel a little bit refreshing. Um, you guys are about a month in now. Um, how are you feeling about the team's overall progress through the first month? I, I think we're doing good. I think we've learned a tremendous amount over just a short period of time. Um, you know, I think the freshman group has come in and really grasped what, it, what it's going to take to, to be successful at this level and, and to really start to understand what, what do we need to do to be successful. Um, and then in the upper group, you know, the group that's been here, you know, we've seen some great things out of them. We've seen some huge PRs already, um, you know, at, at the 6K distance. And looking forward to continue to notch those times down and, and really try to achieve some of the goals that they set out at the beginning of the year. And we're definitely close to some of those already, but that's what goals are all about, breaking them and resetting new goals. And I think that that's one of the things we're, we're looking forward to with another five and a half or so weeks to the Big Ten Championships. You know, we still have a significant amount of time to get prepared for that, but at the same time, we want to make sure we're, you know, having intermediate goals as we lead towards that to keep us motivated and keep us moving. Um, from, from here on out, you guys don't have very many weeks off. Um, do, you think, uh, do you think the team's ready for that grind? Yeah, I think so. You know, when you look at our schedule, you know, it, it, you know, we have obviously meet next weekend, we go a weekend off, and then we have three in a row technically on our schedule. Um, you know, the, the meet in between, um, I guess our last home regular season meet, uh, is really a meet for us to use to figure out who those last spots are on the Big Ten roster. So really, in essence, those that will be running at the Big Ten meet, everyone's got about two is left in the Big Ten meet. So it won't be like we've had some of the kids up to this point run weeks back to back to back leading into it. Um, so we're kind of using our schedule to make sure we have competitions for some and competitions for others, just depending on the week and depending on where they're at and what they need. So, you know, for us, it's, it's important to make sure that we give everybody opportunity to make the Big Ten team, but at the same time, those that have kind of at that point in the next few weeks solidified their spot on the Big Ten team and not run them as much just to get them ready for the Big Ten schedule. So, so yeah, but I think, you know, it's still going to be a grind. Our team's young. A lot of them haven't, you know, had the experience of going all the way through leading up to the Big Ten meet and into the regional meet. Um, and so that's going to be really important for us um, as we move forward here. You know, really, I think Stacy is the only one that's gone all the way through the regional meet uh, that's running this year. And so, you know, that's going to be a huge learning curve for us. But I think they're, they're, they, they've learned a lot up to this point. I really think that they're able to use that in knowing what's coming ahead in the next six to, you know, six or eight.